You can probably tell which side I started with first. Hey friends, it's been a while. I'm back home in New York City with my good old vintage lamp right here. And I'm also in my PJs because, you know, it's time to get comfy for the holiday season, so why not? I decided to start a series where I talk about all topics related to medical school applications. Ultimately, I hope to help those who are also first-gen low-income because I know that the process is difficult, especially when you don't have a family member who is also a physician who can kind of guide you throughout the process. Disclaimer, I am no expert. Today, I want to introduce to you two of my greatest friends. One is right here, which is Brule Ghost Honey. It's a little ghost with a really terrible bow that I kind of crochet. I'm trying to get some dexterity within my hands and that's kind of where I'm at. I also want to introduce to you my other best friend. Without her, I don't think I would be able to apply to medical school at all. And her name is the Fee Assistance Program. If you're a low income student, you can totally apply for it because it will help you substantially, especially when you are struggling financially. To be eligible, you must submit some documents Documentation. So that might be a telephone bill, it could be a student loan statement, it could be a credit card statement. Another form of documentation you need is an unexpired ID. So that might be your driver's license or your passport. Next, if you are under 26 years old, you're required to provide your parental financial information and that is through the IRS 1040 tax form or the W-2 form. There are 2021 poverty guidelines for 48 contiguous states. So if you are a New York resident and if you have, let's say, a family of three and your family makes an income under the value of, let's see, around 88K, then you meet the criteria for this fee assistance program. All right, the next point, you're going to love this. What are some of the resources you get as a result of a successful fee assistance program application? You get access to the medical school admissions requirement website, and that is usually at a $36 value. It's also called the MSAR and MSAR usually tells you a little bit about what the school's mission is, what the values are. This one is really big. It's the reduced registration fee for the MCAT. So usually it's around $330 and it is reduced to $135. Next, AMCAS is the application portal that you use to send primary application to several schools. What is AMCAS even short for? AMCAS is short for the American College Admis Admission... American Medical College Application Service. Moving on, if you use AMCAS, you know you select certain schools that you want to apply to, and this fee assistance program uh, helps you pay for 20 schools. That is at around a $987 value. Now we go to the AMC preview examination. So that is usually around $100. It's a standardized exam used to assess an examinee's understanding of effective pre-professional behavior across eight core competencies for entry medical school. The schools that do require it are listed on this beautiful website called Shemazian Consulting. The exam will be offered between March to October 2023. And lastly, how do the effective dates work? If your FAP application was approved, then it will be effective until the next year's December 31st. So let's say you applied for it and anytime between January 1st to December 31st, 2023, it got accepted, then it will expire on December 2024. That's it for this video. And and I hope that this helped you a little bit about understanding what the general gist of the fee assistance program is. And I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.